So, I'm not going to do a video about this, I'm just going to add it on to the beginning of this one. Um, I had a comment on my video where I was actually videoing the Marxists, the socialists, doing their virtue signalling, as they always do. And it was from one of the boy races, I don't know which one because they all look the same to be honest with you when they're commenting. And uh, it went, went along the lines of this. I don't show respect to my elders, which is quite funny since, you know, they're, uh, they're not showing any respect to anybody in what they were doing in the Tesco car park, which, you know, hypocrisy, amazing. And the ironic thing is, this guy is coming to the defense of people, and these are the Extinction Rebellion types, the people that want to see all petrol and diesel vehicles banned. He's sticking up for people that want to see his sport, what he does, what his pastime is, banned. These are the people who are responsible for why it's so expensive to put petrol in your car at the minute, or diesel. These are the people who brought in those heavy duty green taxes that make it, you know, hard for you to do what you want to do. And yet here you are defending them in the comments just to have a cheap shot at me. I think if you can't see the irony in that, <laughs> there's something wrong with you. So just having a bit of a walk around, just filming things around in public. So I'm going to try and do this while the wind's died down. And I apologise to the wind, there's nothing I can do about that. But yeah, the reason I'm making this video today is to highlight the underbelly of the homeless people. That, to be honest with you, I haven't seen too many today walking through town. These uh, fake homeless people will come into the town centre and what they'll do is they'll either push out the genuine homeless people or they'll force them to beg and give them money at the end of the day. This is why the, and this is why I've had to come back today. I'm heading off to Tesco now. It's because apparently I was talking to one of my security friends. There's been a massive crackdown on homelessness in the town centre uh, due to these fake homeless um, basically lying, and it's it's just fraud, isn't it? At the end of the day, you've got a home, but you're coming out to beg for money, and you've got a home. And the only reason they're out begging is to fuel their alcoholism and their drug addiction. So this, this is why people have a problem with homeless people. Because they just leave shit like this lying around. I mean, you know, they've obviously ripped that off of there. And put it down there to make some kind of makeshift bench to do their shit. And then they just left everything everywhere. I'm not, I'm not going to pick this up or touch it because I don't know what's been on it, or if there's any needles around here. Well, this is why the homeless problem needs to be sorted around in Chesterfield. I mean, there's like, there's smashed glass around here, and my kids come and play around this area, around here. I mean, look at that. We've got a broken jar down there, with a lid. Let's shift this out of the way. All it takes is for a kid to come around the corner and fall off the bike. And they're going to injure themselves, aren't they? All this stuff around here. And the thing is, this is what it really pisses me off, is that just around the corner, there's a bin. All right, if you've got to do this sort of shit, then pick it up and put it in the bin. So I just want to point this out. This is what the homeless people will do. They'll, cut, they'll come down here and this is what this has been replaced I don't know how many times now but they, they take out a fencing panel and they'll go up in here and this is where they'll sleep at night around here they'll go into this little bit have a look around see what we can see in here see if we can actually see where they actually go at night but they'll actually sleep rough in places on these flat plateaus upon here and stuff like that and go around here you can see where they've been you can see the uh, beer cans and stuff down here so this is obviously where they've been, you can see down there as well. But they come along here and this is where they sleep at night. Probably do their drugs and drink their alcohol. But like I was saying, a dispersal order in the town centre doesn't do anything. It doesn't solve the problem. It just, it just moves it somewhere else. And these people need help. You know, I know I'm like having a go at them, but 
they do need help. So just looking here, this is like another site where homeless people come. They, they get in there and they get down under the bridge. They must get over the fence down here somewhere, but this is where they go. So I don't want to seem like I'm, uns I'm unsympathetic towards homeless people. I am. It, you know, there's been times in my life when that could quite easily have been me on a few occasions. So I do, I do have a lot of sympathy for people living on the streets. They've got one of the hardest lives. And, you know, maybe they don't start out as alcoholics or addicted to drugs. But I guess once you go on the streets and you, you feel like there's no hope, it's just a downward spiral from there, isn't it? You know, it's just, you get mixed in with a group of people, because obviously, if you group together, you, you feel safer. You group in with a group of people, homeless people, they do drugs, they're alcoholics. You get into it with them, and then that's it. You're, you're, you're on that slippery slope. So I am sympathetic to homeless people. I just think there should be more help for them. You know, it, a minute it's, it's charities that have to go around and inform them about information that, you know, you can get off the streets, you can get help through benefits and stuff like that because how else are they going to access it? Most of this stuff's on the internet and if you haven't got a home, you haven't got a phone. So you know, you've got no access to the internet or this information. So a lot of this work, a lot of this information comes from charities that actually help out the homeless on the streets and you probably see them knocking about street pastors that are giving out information giving them like um, survival packs like rucksacks with sleeping bags and blankets and food and stuff like that in so there was a homeless guy outside the tesco entrance and you've got to ask yourself should that really be happening in 2022 Britain a supposedly first world country and then you've got to ask yourself a question the government is spending millions a day on putting up the illegal immigrants in four-star hotels and I was always taught that charity began at home and yet we can't even look after our own homeless on the streets but we can put up refugees well, refugees in uh, four-star hotels <laughs> 